today I'm going to show you one of the best methods to earn money in Lumber Tycoon 2. To follow along with this tutorial, you are going to need an axe, a sawmill, a car, and over 540 in-game dollars. Right, so once you've got your axe, it can be any axe, it doesn't really matter, it just depends on how long it takes to cut the tree. You are going to want to get yourself your car. Now, it doesn't actually matter if it's the big car or the small car, I'm going to be taking the big car just because it has a lot more space, so that means I can carry more wood. Once you get in your car, you are going to want to drive over to the bridge over here, and you are going to want to pay the $100 fee to put the drawbridge down. Once the drawbridge has been lowered, you want to follow my exact path to go to Bob's shed. Once you have arrived at Bob's Shed, you want to buy yourself some dynamite. Now, this dynamite costs $220 a piece, just like this, and you want to go ahead and buy some of those. Now, you can actually take one dynamite, but I'm going to be safe and take two dynamite just in case the rocks fall back down. Once you've picked up your dynamite and put it in the back of your truck, you want to head back over to the bridge. We're now at the bridge and it should be still lowered from the $100 that you paid before. Now in order to get to the snowy area, you are going to want to follow this path up to the snowy area. Now, as you can see, we are at this snowy area. However, there are a lot of rocks blocking the way. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get our dynamite here. Now, if you have not already unboxed your dynamite, go ahead and unbox it right here. And then you have your stick of dynamite right here. Now, with this dynamite, you want to place it in the middle of all of these rocks. So I'm going to walk all the way through just like this. And this should be somewhere in the middle like that. You then want to click E on your dynamite to detonate it. And you want to run because you don't want to be knocked out by these rocks. Okay, there we go. The rocks have just blown up and we want to get back in our truck and you want to follow this path to get to the area. So once you get to the back here, you want to go up this little area just here that has been perfectly placed and you want to go up all of these little passageways all the way up. Now when you go up here the first time, you want to be extremely careful to not fall off the edge. Because if you do fall off the edge, you will go all the way back down that mountain. Now when you see this little passageway up here, you want to get out of your vehicle and you want to walk all the way up it. Once you get here, you want to continue following the path all the way up to the top of this mountain. Now when you get to this part, be very careful not to just walk off the edge here because if you do walk off the edge, you're going to have to walk all the way around to get back here. Once you arrive at the top of this mountain, you will see all of the frost wood that is located up here. Now what you want to do is you want to chop yourself down some trees. So I'm going to chop down this tree over here because it seems like it has a lot of limbs. And you just want to cut it down. Once you've cut down your tree, you want to pick it up and you want to go all the way over to the edge over here. Once you are at the edge, you will be able to see your vehicle that you have parked over there. And what you want to do is you want to pick up your tree and you want to drop it off the edge. Now, because I have the extra large vehicle, I'm actually going to grab myself some extra trees to take back down there so that I can make more money. Now, don't be afraid to grab more wood than you can actually fit in your truck because the more wood you fit in your truck, the more money you will make. Now, once you fall off the edge, you will be down here and some wood will probably get stuck here. However, most wood will probably slide all the way down, all the way down here. Now, what you can do is walk all the way back up to the top, grab your vehicle, and bring it down to these trees so that you have a flat area to cut your wood in. Once you bring your truck down, you want to cut up all of this wood and put it in the back of this truck. Now, we are in the snow, so just be very careful because some of these little limbs will actually fall in the snow. Now, if you wanted, you can take these trees up to the stone area up there and your car, and this will make it a lot easier to see the wood. However, I'm going to do it here just because it's a lot quicker. Now, one thing you can do if you are 
you're chopping wood down here, you can place your tree actually on the truck and then cut the tree, and this will make it so you don't lose your wood in the snow. Now, once you've loaded your truck just like this, you want to get back inside of your truck and drive up this ramp here. Now, what you probably want to do is, um, not that. Now, what you want to do is you want to stack your wood properly so it doesn't all fall out, because if it does fall out, the small pieces will actually get lost in the snow. As you can see, that one, that one is disappeared. I'm just here showing you what not to do. Okay, and now you want to follow my exact path all the way back down the mountain. Once you've driven all the way down the mountain, you want to follow this exact path back to the rocks. Now, as you can see, the rocks have actually fallen back down. So this is where the second dynamite actually comes in handy. So what you want to do is you want to, if you haven't unboxed it, unbox it. There we go. We have our stick of dynamite and we want to just make sure that the rocks have finished falling down. Yes, they have stopped falling down. You will know that they stopped falling down by looking up here and seeing them fall down this little ridge here. Now, what you want to do is go in the middle of these rocks and basically place your dynamite. Then you want to press E to detonate and run back towards your car. Now what you'll see is you will see all of these rocks disappear just like that and then you have your entrance back to the normal world. Once you are back to the normal world you want to go back to your plot where your sawmill is located. Now if you were smart you would have conveyors that come off this and load into your truck but I don't because I'm old school and I'm just going to chuck all of this wood inside of my sawmill. Now once you are done putting the logs through the sawmill you'll probably end up with your wood looking like this. Now this part here is all the processed wood and in here these are all the little parts that cannot be processed in the sawmill, simply because they are too small. As you can see, I put some of them through the sawmill and they just get spat back out. So what you want to do now is you want to load up your truck with all of this wood. Once all of your wood has been loaded into the truck, you are going to want to head to the cell point behind Woods R Us. If you do not know where this is, you probably should know where this is. And I'm simply going to unload this into here and watch my money go up. And that is it for today's video. If you guys have any other methods to make money in this game, drop it in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like button. And as always, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.